walking the pause on purpose and hey look our friends are still here <laughs> you know there's actually i think they're in the same position that they were yesterday kind of ironic right got a question for you if you were out in the wilderness maybe even more than what you see behind you and you went beyond the properties and you started going where few people have charted a course wouldn't it be nice to have a guide I think so. I don't know about you, but the, the wilderness of Arizona is not a place where you want to mess around. Uh, things will bite, prick, stick, or infect you in some way out there, and you need to be careful. And today's Pause on Purpose talks about a guide that will help us not only today, but throughout all of our days. This guide will help us make the path straight. My Bible's open again to the book of Proverbs, and Solomon gives us these wonderful words of wisdom. He writes, the integrity of the upright will guide them, but the crookedness of the treacherous will destroy them. Wow, Proverbs 11.3. The integrity of the upright will guide them. Don't we all need a guide? I tell you, when we walk in our integrity, when we tell the truth, when we're honest, and again, every time we say when we're honest, it doesn't mean we use a battering ram over people's head. We don't go Bible thumping people, but we speak the truth in love. And there's nothing wrong with saying, that's an interesting viewpoint, but have you ever considered and then state your viewpoint? That, that's nothing disruptive. That's nothing offensive. And if they do take it offensively, then, you know, it's probably their thing, not yours. Again, we need to be careful what our tone of voice is and the words that we choose and how we speak those words. There's one thing to say hello or hi or hi. You know, you see, <laughs> there's a difference. And so in our words, when we speak the truth, there needs to be done, it needs to be done in love. But here the writer says the integrity of the upright will guide them. And as we speak the truth, it will guide us into the truth. The more people get involved in falsehoods and lies and believe those lies, the further they go down that road of deception and self-deception. And the Bible calls that foolishness. A person who denies that God does a, God exists, a person who denies that, person who says there is no God is a fool, and they act foolishly. And more than likely, they're deceptive in their words and their actions. They're two-faced, they triangulate, they do all kinds of things to misrepresent you or themselves to make you think there's someone that they're not. Whereas you and I, beloved, when we speak the truth, it guides us. It guides us to those paths, those paths that are right behind us that go into the wilderness. I tell you, every day we risk getting lost in the wilderness of life. And it's the guide of truth that will bring us home safely. So go with God because he goes with you.